Dr. Steffler recently showed his ring of diodes as 14 1N4148s in a circle and also connected in series with them as 12 super bright white LEDs. And mine is running. But my uh, original video was going to be a comparison of all these different circuits and how they ran because I've still got a problem with the 89850. I can't seem to get it to output 25 volts and a sine wave. So then Libmotor uploaded his fantastic video which really is the definitive replication. Um, mine runs just as well on 5 volts as it does on 12. You could say not very well at all because this uh, clip lead is actually touching the ring itself. It has a decent output. I mean you can see that uh, coil over there lit up. And we also have the AV plug type of thing all over the place which is quite nice indeed. I just couldn't actually get the same effects, um, mainly because, like I say, the function generator issues really were getting to 25 volts. But behind, you can see what I got at Dollar Tree, which is a bunch of coils of wire. And what I'm going to try and do is a single wire experiment all the way down the backyard and see if we can at least get that thing to glow nicely. Probably from this SEC 18, uh, a Dr. Stifler actual circuit, and uh, see if that works to that distance. And then that brings in a couple of things that have been shown recently. So here we go, here's all six of the wire clumps out of the packet now. I think I'm going to use these two red ones and see how far I can get with those. And then if I need to have extra length, if I can actually get more into the backyard and it still works, I'll go over to a black one then. These have got no coating on at all, so these wouldn't be too good um, with touching the ground I suppose. But anyway, so I'll connect those up and see how far they go down the backyard. <laughs> I, uh, I thought just thought I'd show this to maybe get some sympathy. I've um, just unravelled one of them, just uh, let's see these two side parts, and the, ooh, I don't know what's going on there in China, but um, that's not going to come apart into a long line very easily. Right, so I've got the green wire connected, and then uh, down there now to the red, and then it goes out through the kitchen and to outside. So if you can see this, we've got the red wire. There's Kayla the cat, and we're leading off down past Charlie the cat. And the thing that makes this experiment pretty good is we've got a thunderstorm coming in, and it's always the best weather for doing these kind of experiments, as long as they don't get hit by lightning. Right, and over here we've got the panel. And what I've done is I've connected at the back of it, and I'm going to change things around slightly, but um, you can see. Hopefully you can see the lights are on if I touch the back. Now what I'm intending to do is to, well when it rains actually, it'll allow for a better pathway to ground. I'll put a clip lead on one of the two sides really, well, let it go into the back of the board. There's some good thunder. And so when the ground's a little bit wetter, I'll be able to see whether it'll run without me holding it. In fact, here we go, no time like the present. I've uh, got another clip lead. I'm going to plug it in now, see if we can get a difference. Plug that in there to just a couple of inches. And to one side, hey up. There we go. Sorry about that, I just pressed the stop thing by mistake. But there we are, you can see that uh, we're coming in now to halfway around the panel and then from one side of the ring going into the ground. So yeah, just to end with, that's about 75 feet at 5 volts, 50 milliamps, and uh, powering that panel OK. In a thunderstorm. Alright, thanks for watching.